Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking you through my August favorites. I have my top two favorite makeup products to share with you and then my top two favorite follows on Instagram as well as my favorite app at the moment. So these are my top five favorites from the month of August and without further ado, let's jump right in. I'll start with makeup. First will come as no surprise because I've been talking about this a lot lately. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. It's a really nice light pinky nude color and I've used this so much in videos. This is probably the shortest I've ever gotten um, a lipstick down because I've used it so much. I just really love this like light nude. I feel this is such a good topper on top of pretty much every lip liner I have, light or dark, and it just really is a nice nude color. It is a little bit warmer than I tend to prefer. I just have such a hard time finding cool toned pinky nudes, but this one is pretty cool toned. I mean, I wouldn't really say it's a cool toned pink, but it's cooler toned than a lot of those warm kind of like orangey pinks that have kind of that like warm brownie undertone. So anyway, it's just the perfect nude pink. If you guys don't have this, I highly recommend. I love this formula. Um, it's just a gorgeous color. Next is a new discovery that I'm super excited about, which I've also mentioned in multiple videos already. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I have mine in the shade 107 Fair. If you caught my last video, which was my Ulta slash Sephora haul where I purchased this, I showcased this because I recently had my makeup trial done for my wedding makeup, and this is what the makeup artist use. So I talked a lot about that in that last Ulta Sephora haul and I also showed my makeup from that day that I had my trial. So if you're curious to see it in action um, like by a professional then you can check out that video but I also used it today as my foundation and I'll also link all the products that I have on my face in the description box down below as well as these two that I'm talking about of course. But anyway, I just love this foundation. Like I mentioned in that haul video, I never really hear people talking about this Dose of Colors foundation. I guess the people I follow um, don't really use it. I don't know if you guys hear about this a lot. I tend to hear about the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks and not so much their foundation products. But this is becoming my favorite foundation. I can't stop wearing it. I'm literally ready to throw away all the other foundations in my collection and just stick with this. It's definitely gonna be my wedding day foundation. I just can't believe how much I love it for it being something that I've never heard of. Um, hopefully you guys can see the color match. Sometimes I feel like it's a little dark for me, but other times I just feel like it's perfect. So I'll let you guys be the judge of how it looks on camera. Um, but anyway, I just highly recommend this foundation. A little bit about it, it's $36 and it has kind of a, I would say demi matte finish. It's pretty matte um, and it definitely is medium to full coverage. You can build it up. I just use two pumps all over the face. I use one pump on the T-zone and then one pump on the cheeks and it really just gives me like a full coverage look. As you can tell, this is the coverage that I get with just two pumps of foundation. If you don't have as much acne and scarring as me, then you could probably get away with just one pump all over the face. But again, it is buildable, but I really just love how this has been wearing on my skin. I think it looks so like beautiful and natural and I don't get too, too greasy. There's a lot of other foundations that I love, like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and a lot of other ones that are really popular right now. I feel like are really popular because so many influencers have dry skin and I just don't. I have oily skin. So those foundations are gorgeous and they look super natural, but I end up just being so oily at the end of the day. And I certainly do get oily when using this, but it's not bad at all. I mean, I just get oily no matter what foundation I use. Like my skin's oily, there's nothing we can do about it, but it looks the best late in the day with this foundation. So this is just a must have. I would highly recommend trying it out. Okay, and then I wanted to talk about my two favorite Instagram follows at the moment. I used to do whole videos dedicated to it, but hopefully you guys enjoy um, these kind of mentions because I try to mention smaller accounts that I think aren't as like popular or as well known. So the first one is called My Cambridge Fairy Tale, and I'll link it down below and hopefully I'll be having some screenshots on the screen now. This is just the ultimate cozy fall vibes account. It's this like super nice lady, as far as I can tell, that runs the account and she just shows her cozy little home in Cambridge in England. And it's just these nice little vignettes of like her tea kettle and her kitchen and her cozy bedroom. And I just love the way I feel when I see these pictures on my timeline. Like these are the kind of accounts I like to follow. I love following different home accounts. And this one, like personally, this is not my style. Like I don't have my home decorated in this way, but it's just so enjoyable to follow. 
She also always has really calming stories. I just like love these little accounts like this. So check her out if you're wanting some cozy fall vibes. And the second one is one that I know is definitely popular. Everyone's heard of, and that's the trend mood Instagram account. I've been following it forever. I know everyone follows and it's just a really great account for seeing like what's up and coming and new makeup launches. A lot of the times I tend to kind of um, not be interested in the launches, but lately there's just been some cool stuff coming out and I'm reminded why I like following this account because I like to like be in the know of like what's coming up. So if you're interested in like what's new from different makeup lines, what's launching, what's going to be carried in different stores, all that kind of stuff, then Trend Mood is the account for you. They always post the latest stuff and what's coming and I just love following it. I recently posted these new Buxom lip glosses and I'm just like dying to get. I like reposted to my stories. Anyway, I just love them for beauty news. My fifth and final favorite is an app and that is the Libby app. I was introduced to this by two of my friends and I'm a huge reader. As you guys know, I got a Kindle during quarantine and I just love reading on my Kindle now. I'm fully converted to a Kindle person and I had been kind of downloading books from various websites and purchasing them on the Kindle, but I was kind of discouraged because I thought that buying the Kindle versions of books, I was thinking like, oh, it's gonna be two or three bucks per book. It's gonna be so cost effective, it's gonna be great. But really, Kindle books, if the book is like $15.99, the Kindle book is like 10 bucks, So it's not that huge of a savings. And I really felt that I was still spending a lot of money on books, which was not um, really the effect I was trying to get from my Kindle. So I got the Libby app. It's really great. If you already have a library card with your local library, you just enter in your library credentials. It links with your library and you can lend or not lend, you can borrow the digital copies of books that your library has. So I've been doing this tons, like I am part of like the big city library where I live and they have tons of digital copies you can get on the wait list and you just, you open the app on your phone, get the stuff there and then it automatically downloads onto your Kindle. It will like sync with your Amazon account. It's just so seamless, it's amazing. If you're reading on Kindle and you don't have a library card, go get a library card, get the Libby app and it's just gonna be amazing. I It's really changed my life. So I'm so thankful to my two friends that told me to get on the bandwagon for it. And that is it for my top five favorites from the month of August. I can't believe it's September already. It's my birthday month. I love September. This means we're closer to fall. So this is just my favorite time of year. I hope you guys enjoyed these favorites. Please let me know what you want to see down below in the comments. I love to hear your suggestions. And this month is kind of also the lead up to my wedding. So I'm planning to have a lot of wedding content. I'm not sure if that's something everyone's interested in, but so far I've been getting really sweet comments on all the like content that I've been posting. So hopefully you guys enjoy that as well, but let me know any other like requests you have. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.